Hello again. Now we are right in front of uh, the entrance of Buyana Church. Uh, as we mentioned, this is the newest part of the church built in the 1800s. And now let us enter and see what's inside. So, unfortunately, most of the design in this part, most of the art in this part has been gone. Uh, but what is interesting, there are some uh, frescoes from the late uh, medieval period, uh, frescoes from uh, the Renaissance. But what is interesting, if you look at the bottom part, at the so-called level, where is the gate, we can see marble. This is marble from the Roman period. Uh, mm, what we have there is a big part of an old Roman construction. This Roman construction most probably was gone and the building material was reused in new constructions like this medieval church here. So we have this part here at the bottom to the right of the gate we have another part used here. Why? Due to the lack of the building material. Why not using something that already we have it? It's easier. Here it is very interesting that um, a few years ago they have discovered who painted the church. They found an inscription here and what was written in this inscription was the following. I Master Basilia wrote. What he was writing? Actually, he was not painting the church. He was writing at every single artist in a church. They're writing the word of God. They're not painting. So let's enter and see what they wrote. So we will start the tour chronologically and we are going further inside with the oldest part. Uh, the construction here is from the 1100s and the frescoes are from 1200s. What do we see here? To the left we have the image of Jesus Christ benefactor sitting on a throne and here to the right we have the patron of the church that is Saint Nicholas. If you look further in the altar place what we have presented on the apse, we have the images of four theologians and above them the image of Virgin Mary. Right above the image of Virgin Mary, we have the transfiguration of Jesus. Actually, in every single Christian Orthodox Church, the most important scenes are always in the upper parts of the church, showing their divine character thus being closer to God. And when we talk closer to God, if you look in the very top, on the dome, main dome of the church, we will be able to see this image of Christ, Christ Pantocrator, or ruler of the world. That's a very typical uh, image that we have in many of the Orthodox churches. Of course, we have some other images that are uh, almost obligatory to be seen in the Orthodox churches. These are images related to the exaltation of the Holy Cross. So uh, we have uh, uh, Constantine and Helena, his mother, uh, here. Very interesting uh, image, of course, is the image of baptism of Jesus Christ here. Almost obligatory is to find images that are related to the life of Virgin Mary. And right above the gate here, we have the Assumption of Virgin Mary. The figure laying on the bed, that's the body of Virgin Mary, surrounded by apostles and other figures of the Bible. And right above her, we have another image of Jesus Christ. Actually, what we have presented on this image is Jesus Christ holding the soul of his mother, taking it directly to the heavens, right above where we can see the Holy Dove or this reincarnation of the Holy Spirit. Of course, 
important images here are images related to the life of Christ. And those images related to the life of Christ, you can see here, right above the images of different military saints, St. George, St. Demetrius, most probably we have them here because of the fact that the donor of the church, Kawoyan, was a warrior, soldier himself. So, right above them, we have important images of life and passion of Jesus Christ. Like the one here, we have the image of the crucifixion, Jesus on the cross, his mother to the left. The image to the right took place on Saturday, right after the crucifixion. The image in the middle, that's Jesus Christ, standing on the broken gates of hell and holding the hand of one man here to the left that's Adam and behind him the image in red that's Eve thus showing us the idea of victory of life over death right above these images we have the last supper presented here with traditional uh, meals for the period and above it we have two other images related to the Christ. To Christ, that's entering Jerusalem on a donkey and the resurrection of Saint Lazarus here, the rising of Lazarus. Thus, having the most important images around us, reminding us that we have to believe. And now, with this, I'm going to finish the tour of the first part of Buyana Church. And I will take you to the next one in my next video. So, thank you for watching.